What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today is a monumental day on the channel. We are testing out new audio equipment. You see this? Yeah, that's what I call professional. I'm trying to improve the audio of these videos. So y'all let me know in that comment section below. Is, is it better? Is it worse? Am I still looking huge? A lot of questions to be answered. And if y'all could go down there, that would mean a lot. And while you're down there, smash that thumbs up button for me. Thanks. In this world we live in, there's a lot of chicken sandwiches vying for the top spot. You got that Popeye's one? That's a keeper. Wendy's has got a spicy chicken. Don't sleep on that one. And I'd be an idiot if I didn't mention Chick-fil-A. And today, we're gonna put all those other sandwiches to shame and make sure it keeps us working towards our goals, losing weight, building muscle, and eating foods we love without any guilt. In today's video, we'll be making an anabolic Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Crispy and crunchy chicken that isn't gonna add to that waistline, slapped between two buns with a custom-made anabolic hot sauce. If you've been wanting to eat fried chicken, but you don't wanna look like you eat fried chicken, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And as always, this recipe and every other one of the recipes I drop on this channel has been broken down into an easy to use guide, the RJF Anabolic Cookbook. All the ingredients, the macros, the instructions, everything you gotta do to eat the foods you love and still see results. We don't gotta be slaves to our diet, man. We make the diet work for us. If you're a foodie like me and you don't wanna give up what you love, but you wanna see results, then by God, this thing won't steer you wrong. Link in my description. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. All right, baby, it's sandwich time. First thing we need to do is get some chicken breast, and we are gonna trim a 112 gram piece from one of our breasts here. So if I look at this breast, it weighs about 230 grams. So what I'm gonna do is trim off a good bit of the outside of it, and any extras I just throw back in my Tupperware. We can fry those up later. And I'm looking to make a circle. I'm just gonna keep taking pieces off. That's 170, and that is perfect. 112 gram chicken breast. Now what I'm gonna do to make sure it cooks evenly is pound it down a little bit. If you have a meat mallet, you can use that, but I like this fist of mine. It's gonna press down and boom, looks way better, way more thin. Now that our chicken is ready to go, we gotta create some spicy breading. I'm gonna start with 20 grams of white flour, two grams of cayenne powder for some spice and heat, two grams of paprika, two grams of garlic powder, one gram of ground mustard, and one gram of salt. Now I'm just gonna go in with a spoon and mix everything together. So breading's finished, now we need a wash. I like to use egg beaters. It's liquid egg whites, but they do stuff to it to make it seem like it's real eggs when you cook it. Long story short, it works way better as a wash than egg whites. But if you have egg whites, just use those, that's fine. So here's how this goes down. We start with our chicken breast, put it in the flour. We're just gonna shake it around a little bit, let it get covered on the sides. Flip it, make sure we get full coverage on this bad boy. And then once we got it covered, we're gonna give it a bath. Toss it in here, flip it over, make sure it gets fully covered in our wash. And once it's fully covered, pull it out, let it drip off, then we bring it back to the breading bowl. Then we're gonna shake it again, give her a little flip, shake her again, and we're gonna do this until our piece of chicken is fully breaded. So our chicken is fully breaded. All that's left to do is air fry it. So I'm gonna air fry here. We're gonna hit the basket with nonstick spray. I'm gonna sit my breaded chicken down in there. And then I'm also gonna hit the top of the chicken with nonstick spray as well. Now we just gotta air fry it. So we're gonna set our temperature to 400 degrees and air fry for about five to six minutes on each side. So cook it five, flip it, another five, maybe six, depending on how done you want it. And you're gonna be good to go. You're gonna be eating a crispy fried chicken sandwich with half the calories in no time. Let's go. While that's air frying, I'm gonna let my bun prep. I'm gonna be using a 140 calorie bun. Nature's own butter buns. Love these things, low in calories and perfect for these sandwiches. Hit it with nonstick and toss my buns right on here. Chicken is done, we got it cooling off. Now we're gonna add some stuff to our buns. Wouldn't be a Nashville hot chicken sandwich without some mayo, we're using fat free. We need 16 grams, I'm gonna spread it right on here. I'm also gonna toss on some pickle chips. There's no calories here, so we don't gotta worry about that. Now we're gonna make a sweet hot sauce that we can toss our fried chicken in. Start with 30 grams of a cayenne hot sauce. This is gonna go well with our breading. And on top of that, we're gonna toss in 10 grams of honey. I'm using sugar free, but it doesn't matter, they got the same macros, sugar free 
three just sounds better. Put that right in there. Now I'm just gonna use a quick spoon, mix these together. And seriously, this simple combination is killer. It's sweet, it's a little spicy, it's cayenne hot sauce, so it's not too crazy. You're gonna love it. Then we take our fried chicken breast. Look at it, it's crispy. Got a hint of that red color, the way we seasoned it. Little bit of heat baked in. We toss it right down in here. And we're just gonna shake this around, flip it over until it's fully covered in our sauce. And then now all we do is take our chicken and sit it right here, pop the bun on it, and boom. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Anabolic Nashville Hot Chicken Sandwich. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, eating healthy but delicious at home is not an impossibility. As long as you're putting your best foot forward, using the right ingredients, using the right tools, you can eat what you love and still see results, man. And with a sandwich like this, how can you even say it's a diet? If you've enjoyed this video so far, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know about that audio quality down below in the comments. Does it sound better? Does it not? Should I throw it away? What do y'all think? And now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, man, this is why I love what I do. I get to cook food, I get to eat food, y'all get to watch me eat food. That's like my fetish. Before we get this started, man, I drink a gallon of water a day. Plain water, not very good. If you can spice it up with some aminos, man. Scoop of this is gonna help you a little bit with your recovery. No calories, sour moon rock flavor, it's great. I put a zero calorie Kool-Aid packet in here, shake it up, and I got me a great gallon all day. So when I'm eating something spicy, helps to have a sweet Southern gal waiting in the wings. Final boss for Com, could RGF10 will save you 10% and in less than three weeks, approximately our new protein bars, the Anna bars will be dropping. So be on the lookout, man. More info coming soon. All right, let's get down to business. I am starving. This thing just looks incredible. You can't tell me that doesn't look like magic. That's got Houdini written all over it, but how do we make this one happen? Three, two, one, let go. This one is a complete showstopper. Look at that white meat chicken in there, man. If you've been sleeping on an air fryer, don't. You could really get that crispy fried chicken sandwich flavor without all those unnecessary calories, man. Ooh, the pickle, the mayo, that sweet, spicy hot sauce we made. And even if you're not a fan of spicy food, this is not really that spicy. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but a cayenne hot sauce is pretty mild on the hot sauce scale, so it's definitely one you gotta try, man. You gotta make it, you gotta tag me on Instagram. Let me know what you think of it. This really is just the perfect blend of flavors. I gotta put this down, I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it if I I don't put it down. So in the entire sandwich, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only two grams of fat, 32 grams of protein, 53 grams of carbs, two grams of fiber, only 358 calories. Compare that to a Nashville hot chicken sandwich you're getting anywhere else. By the time you add up the mayo, the deep fried, the extra breading, whatever they're doing to it, the big high calorie bun, you're gonna double, maybe even triple those calories. But this way, man, we can keep it low calorie, we can get all that great flavor, lock it in, not fall off our diets, man. We're getting our protein in, we're keeping them calories low. We're doing everything we got to do to see results. I keep saying you just got to trust me, man. But if you just follow these recipes and follow this diet, even for just one week, just one week, and you see what happens, it'll blow your mind and you'll be sold on it, man. I'm telling you, if you haven't started your New Year's resolution yet, today's the day, baby. I always say, no matter what you're going through in life, you're only ever one decision away from changing everything, man. You can make one decision and change the entire outcome of the rest of your life. I uprooted my life and moved to Texas. I've never been happier, man. Not saying you got to move. I'm just saying one decision can change everything. And even if that decision is just starting the anabolic diet. Mm. Final bite, baby. Let's go. Mm. 10 out of 10. I could eat those all day, man. I mean, it's a fried chicken sandwich, a little sweet, a little spicy. We got that pickle crunch in there. We got the mayo. It is uh, a definite winner in my book. That might be my favorite sandwich I've ever dropped on this channel. Real talk. It'd be a toss up between this and the Texas Toast Double Barbecue Burger. Those two, man. Best part is I can eat them and uh, not even fall off my diet. And as always, you already know, if you got the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated and those updates are free because you get it one time, you get every future recipe I add at no additional cost. So this thing keeps on growing. Every time a video Video drops and one of these looks fun. Looks like you want to try it out. You go to the store, you got your whole shopping list in here, which you got to weigh out, step-by-step -step instructions, the times, the calories, the protein, the matter, everything, man. It's a little guide right in your pocket. It'll make life easy. And I know it works because I use it every single day. I really do. I am using this thing every single day. If you watch some of my videos closely, when I'm doing the meal plan videos, I literally got this thing pulled up. It'll be in the background of a shot. I'm reading off of it as I'm making these recipes and showing them to you guys. So, hey, I believe in it, man. I guarantee if you try it out, you'll love it too. Link in description. Appreciate you guys 
guys, as always, for the support. Let me know about the mic. Man, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to sit down and edit it here in a minute. We're going to find out. But if it sounds better and you guys think it's cool, or if I need to maybe upgrade this, I mean, we'll do what we got to do, man. I want the audio to be crisp, clean, and beautiful, just like these recipes. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Ooh, we got a little bit of that sauce left, bud. We're soaking that up. Mmm. -hmm.